Okay, so from my experience in UAE in the last couple of years, um, I've I just found that there is no basically uniformity or there is um, a common practice in diagnosing autism. Uh, different centers, different doctors, they basically um, exper experienced or basically they run a different way in a diagnosing autism. Um, the way we see it is autism is never a single person diagnosis. Most of the time it has to be in multidisciplinary team being assessed. Um, it's not an easy diagnosis. Um, child is um, presentation at the time and the place where he is it can be very much misleading so it's so so important and this has been uh, emphasized on on different guidelines from UK or USE that the child should be assessed at different situations and in different places with different people and able to basically give a diagnosis of autism. Well, I'm not aware that there is um, a new practice in the UAE. I mean, the informality in the diagnosis, or um, it, it's still there. Um, some centers, they start to tend to do it more multidisciplinary. So the speech and language therapist and the OTs, um, that's the occupational therapist, they maybe basic, basically present one single report. Um, the only place which is I can see that all of these people basically do the assessment altogether is the Zaid Institute. Uh, however, they still don't have a pediatrician who basically has a comment um, and who is usually will um, give a diagnosis of autism. I think the main challenge in diagnosis of ASD is basically what to do when you are diagnosed a child with ASD. In fact, that making a diagnosis is not going to make much change in the child because we all know there is no cure treatment. But what will make different in his life is where is from there where he, this child can, should go to. So having a system, um, a clear pathway in, for referring these children to be assessed thoroughly and with expertise person and then um, have an equal chances to attend an intervention centers and have a good education is the big challenge. Um, do I see any changes in that? Well, still, to be honest, this part is not really well looked after. Um, and still we lack um, in the way we are dealing with the children with autism after diagnosis because of the kind of limitation of intervention and in uh, facilities we have here. It's so important to spread the word that autism is not anymore um, something is very rare. We see it quite often, we see it a lot. Referrals is ongoing. Uh, people even down the street now becoming questioning more, much more. Uh, doctors of different levels of different expertise and subspeciality, they do see children with autism. So it's so important to know about the significance of the condition, especially when we know that we have a really run, run, narrow window, narrow window in, um, in the way we could deal uh, with these children in order to improve their quality of life in the future. It's a pleasure to be here uh, in the conference, um, different people, different grades, uh, different presentations. Um, it's a nice gathering. Uh, parent discussion was really a good idea and the workshop is the, another very good idea. I think it's, um, it's so good uh, to be here and I hope that uh, we all enjoying it.